Hey guys, do stuff with Nikki here. Really quick clip. I wasn't planning on doing this because I have a lot of work to do out here today, but I wanted to share it only because I was about to do something over there in a little patch that I've got, and I saw something, and after I saw that something, I decided not to do something. <laughs> or do stuff. <laughs> However you want to call it. And I know it's a problem probably when you see it, a lot of you have on various vegetables or whatever in your gardening and all. And it's kind of a cool twist on it. You may want to rethink what you do as far as, you know, busting out the sprayers or nuclear annihilation when you see this kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoy. Give me one second. I'm going to walk over there. All right. So I walked over to this little corner I've got. I have like the tiny little thing of yard long beans here. But, you know, I kind of just threw them in there a little while ago. They've been producing and all that. I have them other places and they're just fine. This is the one of the extremely few places in my garden that I actually have pests. So if you look on the beans right here. Hey now. <laughs> There's a bunch of little black buggers all over the place. All the way up the stems, everything else. I know I kind of had a small issue with this bed because I was playing around with it and uh, it's a little on the acidic side. So, whatever. I just let the beans go. Well, today uh, I came out here because I figured, you know what? I'm going to cut them. I'm not going to pull them out, but I was just going to cut them to the ground and eliminate all these guys. And this is what I saw. Let me see if I can get her close up. Probably looks a little too dark. There's a ladybug there. Yeah, you probably can't see it. Because I suck. <laughs> well, what happened was I came out here to cut these. And let me see if I can find... I saw a ton of ladybugs here. All over the place. So, and the thing is, I've been noticing them more and more lately. So I said, you know what? If they're all over this plant eating stuff, I don't quite know what this guy is right there. Oh, we know what he is. <laughs> he eats bugs. He's totally welcome here. <laughs> so anyway, I saw all this stuff on here. And that's why I decided not to cut it down. Because like I said, I don't have a lot of bug problems here. Yeah, look at these guys. They made like a bug condo over here. It's crazy. Um, but when I saw all the you know, beneficial predatory guys, and there's ants running all over the place here, obviously, because they're happy, uh, I didn't want to get rid of it, you know, I don't, first of all, I love ladybugs, I don't want to kill them, but, um, there were a ton of them out here before, so I went and grabbed my, oh, here's another one, look, 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 hey, ladybug, eat stuff, <laughs> uh, they're having a field day, there was a bunch of them, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to let it go. Because that's kind of my theory with a lot of other things that I grew before too. Because we have a lot of birds here and the robins hang out. They eat the caterpillars off my passion fruit and what have you. It kind of almost takes care of itself after a while. And I think that's actually why I don't have that many pests. I think these start attacking my plants because there was an imbalance in the soil. Like I said, you know, we haven't been here all that long. I just pile stuff up. That's my grass clippings from when I do lawn. So something else is going in there after a while. But it's interesting to see that this one tiny little area, and this is probably about, oh, I don't know, uh, maybe three feet and change by 14 inches, tiny little square. I just threw them there to throw them there. You know, I've got plenty of beans, but whatever. And, and this happened. So it kind of told me, Something's not right in the spot where actually right to the left of it or left to the left of it Whatever you want to call it the sunchokes are ridiculously happy. Nothing's attacking these things uh, They're volunteers and the turmeric hiding under there is happy, too. They're already about to get flowers and all that These things are almost Pretty much pest resistant. They're awesome. I grow them all the time. So there's a bunch of them in here We're gonna have some nice sunchokes in this corner even though I didn't put them there they kind of did what they wanted. Probably through a pile of my dirt that I didn't check through. So, yeah, I just thought you guys thought that would be interesting. Because um, if you get a tiny patch like this, don't be so quick to 
mow it down, cut it, spray it, do whatever. Because I've noticed these guys on here now, you know, the last couple of weeks I've been watching them. I mean, look at this. This is sick. And there's a ladybug high wiring. I don't know if you can see this because, uh, I suck. Look, she's high wiring right over the... This is so cool. <laughs> This is like dinner for days. <laughs> She's right there on the, on the back leaf. So anyway, that's why I didn't want to do anything. I d oh, there's another one. Right there. She's going down the bottom of the leaf. They're everywhere. And you know, where a lot of people are like, I gotta buy ladybugs and all that. Well, you know what? Um, I used to be like that at our old house because I did have issues. I, I, you know, I was on a... A similar type of property, but it was all screened in and all. I had nothing but bug problems and all that, because everything was in planters and everything else. This is just in dirt. I cover it. I don't dig it. I don't till it. I don't do anything. I l even let the weeds go over, because I eat them. There's some purslane in there. And the truth is, nature kind of takes care of itself after a while when it figures out a system. So I don't think that it's always a good idea, because had I, like, soaked the hell out of this with neem oil or something... I don't think the ladybugs would have been that happy. And truthfully, I don't really care if these plants die from these bugs because there's some growth here that's actually green and gorgeous. The rest is just like, somebody help me! You know, and then there's other types of bugs here. I don't know if you can see that. That's the one I got the first time. But uh, they kind of take care of themselves. And the truth is, if the ladybugs stay here and they eat here, then they make babies, then they have more ladybugs, and then you have a lot more predators in the garden to eat more of the bugs you don't want. <laughs> so it's kind of worth it if you've got the space and you've got a little patch like this where you're having an issue, the heck with it, leave it alone. Because the other thing I was thinking too is, you know, you get rid of this, all these bugs are like, well, we have to go eat someplace else. Then they start attacking everything else. And like I said, I don't care if I lose this tiny little bean patch, it's nothing. It's just a overgrown, tiny little, I didn't care patch I threw stuff into. So. I think it's a great idea, and it's, uh, I can't, I'm going to keep filming this and taking notes on it, because it's actually pretty interesting to see what actually could happen here, what other kind of bugs we can actually find on here that are eating these things, you know, flies landing on here, and all over the place, you know, it's actually pretty cool, so this works, believe me, because I've got melons over there and lemon cucumbers and all kinds of stuff i'm redoing other stuff even my collards my cabbages nothing's getting touched i don't have bug issues really everything kind of takes care of itself you know and this is the one tiny little area where i had a problem and the ladybugs came in like an army and they're dealing with it so oh, there's another one there she is go eat stuff <laughs> anyway all right ladybugs are eating stuff i have to go keep doing stuff peace guys love you stay green and remember little wild and dirty doesn't hurt either see you next time